We've got Benji Marshall and Brad Arthur coming up on the show. And calls are growing for the NRL to sort out the obstruction rule once and for all, with the bunkers' decisions becoming more confusing by the week. And now the players, coaches and fans are fed up. Bradley holding it there for Walker to Desco out the back, Manu. He's got Young there, Manu doesn't need it. Oh, no, hang on a second. Looking at the lead run here of Jared, at this point he stops Dylan Edwards from being able to slide and assist in defending this play, which is an obstruction. Oh, rubbish. Rubbish. Jared was a metre or two in front of the line and then I think he had to go around the ref, which changed his angle, which then Jazz was on the line, so he had to actually change angle. On the line with Kenny, then Yo, now Schneider, there's Edwards, on for Tungo, it's beautiful! Liam Martin runs into Tupanua. It is well on the inside of the play, but you can imagine how the Roosters fans feel right now, having had a try tonight in the first half. Satili got knocked over in our one, and was he going to save the try? No, he wasn't. Was Luke or Satili going to get there, or was Edwards going to get? Was that the, or is it the rule on the obstruction? I feel like there was two different rulings in that case. I'll say one thing. I feel every time we've ever done a black and white interpretation in rugby league, it's been a failure. No, I'm not saying that was the case tonight. I'm not saying yes or no, but every time we have, it doesn't work. This was the talk of the Rugby League world over the long weekend and fans, players, coaches, everyone was a bit confused with what's going on at the moment with the obstruction. What's our take on it? Well, I'm confused uh, and I don't know the answer, to be honest, Braith. Like, the problem with people saying now, let's go to, to discretion, is that I might think the, the fullback was going to get there, but you might think he did. He wouldn't. Mm. Now, who's to say who's right? But, so that's why they brought in the black and white interpretation. The players know the rules. I'm happy with black and white. I think Ivan's right, OK? It, it doesn't work, but either does discretion. It doesn't work either. Because some people will sit in a pub and say, he wasn't going to get there. They were clear as a bell on the weekend, OK? Yes. But, but if you slide, for example... The um, Jake Travojevic one... Right, no, no. When he comes Look, back through the on. middle, like when Tommy comes back through the middle, if it's a really good defender, he Guys, might get across there. If Dylan Edwards was an Olympic 100-metre finalist, he wouldn't have got to the corner to stop Joey Marner. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you is that's where you need discretion. You can't be black and white. Nothing in rugby league's black and See. white. No passes the Pass, same. OK, no listen to me there. OK, so... So that was so, obvious, Kenny. Okay, so okay, you okay, use okay. your discretion. OK, well, let's get the picture up here for a second, all right? And let's put Dylan Edwards three metres closer. Does he get there? Right? If he's three metres further across the road, across the, the play, does he get there? It, yes or no? Yes or no? OK? Three metres... Does he, four metres closer, does he get there? If he's five minutes but, closer... But, but you're you're is, doing a hypothetical. We're talking, That's what discretion is. But I'm talking about that incident. It was a terrible decision that should have not... Have... We agree with it. They, we agree they, with they, it. They, but, they, they got it wrong too. But that's yeah, the rule that's that, currently written. It's not. The bunker has discretionary power. To what Graham Annesley said, said that. that. He did and they say need that, to use it on the particularly yes. bad ones. There's they been, have to. There's been calls for an ex-player to go in. Into the bunker... And, and you'd have to get a highly respected. One has been around forever. I'll be honest, we've seen what the ex-players have done with Dally M's. So. <laughs> That's my, but my point is, you don't just throw any player in there. Someone, you pay them good money, they're the number one, you, you probably get a couple of them and they go to the game. Is that, is that an option? There's been talk about that well, over the weekend. You, you know what, guys? So. You say no. No. Kenny, most of them... Because I don't think you need to be an ex-player to, to, to be able to look at that and say whether you, you think that's you're probably going to have no, more right here. The black and white rule means you have to be a certain metre away from the player. You can't do the it with Dylan. No, no. Well, 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 I can put the play. No, no. So it's like you can't be within 10 metres. That's black and white. You can't be within so many metres of the kicker. You know, you can't run extra. You know what? Escorts. Rugby league started going down a bad path when we started applying discretion to rules. Is he back 10 metres or is he back 9 metres? When we started saying, is that forward or not forward? When we start applying it, it doesn't make it any better. It doesn't solve any problems. It just changes the point of the I argument. I it does. It right. I nearly turned the television off. Now. I was that well, we filthy. Well, we Yeah, no, I was that <laughs> filthy, Caddy, and I don't follow I either side. I, I hadn't it. had a bet, but the bunker is ruining the game, making... 
pathetic decisions like no, that. They, they are, make, no, no. No, they they make, are Gordy. They make hey, some great decisions. All those, all that those was tries, terrible. all those tries we see, and we don't know whether they get them down. They get a lot of those runs. Well, so holes, give them some praise. They need a summit. They need to do something. The week before the Jake Turbo try, summit right? Summit on, on on the bunker on and, and the, the, yeah, they, they need to do something. The Parramatta defender last week ran straight at Jake. Had absolutely no interest in the ball. No, because carrying. he, lo- he you, lost sight. No, no. But that's not rugby league. No, because he? discretionary, I give that a penalty. Because Jake stopped in the line, and if but I'm that's coming not across, rugby league. If I if I'm coming Every across as a defender, defender now no, is if I chasing across, the decoy to try to create a collision to stop but the Jake play. But Jake stopped in the line. Well, that's not that? rugby league. You're right. I mean, it is happening. I a told lot. you. I, I, wrote, I wrote my solution on the weekend. Start finding the coaches who are exploiting the rules. Find the coaches. That way they'll coach the players out of it. Because if a player does that, deliberately runs into a player, falls over so like a Dylan Brazilian soccer player, you find the coach. Dylan Edwards. They're all coach. coached to do it good. They're all coached. They, 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 as soon as they see a, 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 an inside shoulder, they run into the inside shoulder and they know it has to come back. Absolutely no attempt. He didn't have to because Jake shouldn't have been there. So, so he knows the rules. Yeah, so, Jake, Jake was sloppy well, there. He, you know, he, he, he should have kept going through. And Look, uh, in a defensive structure, he has to keep sliding across and Jake denies him that ability. But do you really think Jake tried to deny him that? Oh, no. No, 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 I think he's the honest yeah. player, but... I, I honestly think... Do we have a look, summit, the, summit is a bit alarming, but do, I do think they the need solution, to put though? some sharp heads into a room and work out a way where we're not taking tries off Joey Manu what way? in the manner in which they did. Listen, I don't have it, the solution. On Does anyone have the solution? Have, we used to have the discretionary rule before it became black and white. It started out black and white. We went to discretion. We figured out that wasn't working. We've gone back to black and white. Now everyone wants to go back to discretion. This is so, so rugby league. That's what we do. That's three more years. We'll be going, let's go back but to black he, and white. Kenny, everything else in the bunker is discretion. When they do the, the a captain's whole, call, said, it's just, an opinion oh. of it's the opinion of someone in the bunker about whether the ball went forward or backwards or in a high leap. It's discretion well, on to everything. See it in the video bars, you're supposed to see. It. They're supposed to be yeah. ruling on what they see on the video. Right. But the fact, like I said, but some of these the coaches that are blamed, coaches are the first to whinge about these sorts of things, and right. they're the blame because you know why? If you bring in discretion, they'll find a way. They'll sit down. They'll spend a week sitting there, put their heads together about how they get, can exploit that. That's what they do. It's the coaches that are doing this. And it's a cynical move by the coaches. And the NRL leader needs to get the players in, coaches in and say, listen, you guys. Hard one to prove it's deliberate. What? No, it's not. Ask a coach. I'll tell you, yes. That's how easy it is to prove. Mm. I love the idea of a summit. A summit sounds very serious. Well, I think it's a serious issue because I think there's people like me who got the shits and and nearly turned off the other night. Don't swear on TV, please, Buzz. I've heard Candy use that word. (laughs) He's throwing you under the bus. (laughs)